We do want to head out to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, this is some new video we've gotten from the scene as 17 people were injured and 10 people were arrested in a shooting that happened shortly after 11 p.m. local time out there uh, in the in Milwaukee's Water Street Bar District. Now, police say that nine firearms were recovered in the shooting. Uh, so very scary situation. People scrambling, not knowing what's going on. Uh, this is a higher above building look at everybody running through the streets. So I do want to uh, head out to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That is where our very own Fox 6 Milwaukee's Brett Vickery is joining us with the very latest on this situation, plus another violent situation that unfolded. So uh, Brett, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, a very violent Friday night, to say the least, in your area. So can you kind of walk us through everything that happened? Absolutely, Regina. Good morning. It, it, the only thing, the words I have is this, be, saying it's a bummer is really an understatement because people here were gathered to watch the Milwaukee Bucks play the Boston Celtics in game six of the NBA playoffs here tonight. And here in Milwaukee, we have our, we have a target on our back being the reigning champion. So being here in the Deer District area near Pfizer Forum where the Bucks play is a really big deal. And we have really big watch parties every single time that the Bucks play. So the incident that you're talking about with the 17 Vic shooting victims that happened near Water Street, which is a really big area down here where there's bars, there's restaurants, lots of places for entertainment and a great place to watch a ball game. And we're still waiting to hear from police as far as what led up to that shooting. Like you said, nine firearms were recovered from that area. And so it was just a lot, a lot of chaos, like you mentioned, like I'm sure you saw in that video. And the age ranges I can give you as far as that shooting range from ages 15 to 46 seven are the victims and all are expected to survive thankfully so it's not defined as a mass shooting since nobody was killed but still a lot of violence here in our city following something that should have been a celebration we did lose but still just a great time to come out here and experience downtown Milwaukee and it's unfortunate that this happened now to show you for the next incident that happened so that happened at 11 p.m. last night just before that, right as the Bucks were closing out the fourth quarter around 9 o'clock, you can see this area is Highland and MLK Drive, another big spot just down the street from Water Street where that initial shoot, where that 11 p.m. shooting happened, excuse me. You see Pfizer Forum right there. That's how close this basketball stadium is. And the Deer District, where everyone gathers for the watch party, is just right next to it. And this is where a shooting happened. And, of course, when gunshots rang out, people were leaping out of their shoes dropping belongings as they were trying to run for safety. Now, the Bucks say by their count, 11,000 people were inside of the Deer District. There were metal detectors that people had to walk through in order to get in. Only small wallets were allowed in. So 11,000 capacity just in that area. But in the surrounding bars, hundreds more people were in this area when this shooting happened. The people that were shot in the shooting here off of Highland and MLK were two 20-year-old men and a 16-year-old girl. The police do have a 19-year-old man in custody in regards to that shooting. But this 9 o'clock shooting and then the one at 11 o'clock just down the street, I mean, just to find we were already down because of the loss against the Celtics. And then this just tragic incident happened. I spoke to witnesses this morning who they came back and they were looking for lost glasses, their phones, even like I said, shoes were everywhere as people were running from with all of this chaos going on. And so people were really trying to figure out what was going on. They came back to the scene looking for things. I spoke to them and they said, you know, the security was questionable. We're still waiting, waiting to hear back from the Bucks as far as what they think about that statement, as far as the security based on watch parties last year and watch parties this year. But overall, it's it's a hard day for Milwaukee just because this is one really great thing for our city, both economically and just to all come together. Um, and I really think attendance will be down in the next watch parties to come because of what happened. Yeah, and you know, that's a really great point is the fact that people may not feel safe after something as chaotic and dangerous like this just happened. Um, Brett, do we know if we are going to expect any official um, press conference from police throughout today? I know that we've been getting press releases, but uh, do you expect that we'll hear from authorities at any point? 
Absolutely. Uh, Mayor Cavalier Johnson uh, just recently elected, really active in our community. He's expected to speak to us uh, come noon today, so we'll be sure to make sure we head to that press conference and hear what he has to say. Um, he's really big on just safety in our city, and I'm sure he'll have plenty to say about this incident. It was a really violent night in Milwaukee last night. Absolutely. Well, Brett, we know that you've been out there all morning long speaking with people who were literally coming back to try and get their stuff. And I know your team uh, was on scene there last night. So we really appreciate all of your hard work and for joining us with this update. Uh, stay safe out there and we hope that you have a good day. Absolutely. Thanks, Regina. You too.